Any questions? So, um, like when we're street evangelism and we're trying to preach the gospel, um, there's some people that just don't want to hear it. So, what would be like something you say in the first ten seconds to kind of catch their attention? Like you only have ten seconds to, to tell them about the gospel. What would be your first thing to say to them to kind of grab like that sell stage to, to catch them? And get them in? So right now I'm on the challenge. I'm on a hundred day challenge. And I think I'm right now on day 28. I'm telling every day, I'm telling someone about Jesus every day for 100 days. Wow. And um, because I preach on big crusades, but preaching to the one is always sometimes different. And I try to, for 100 days, to tell someone about Jesus. And it could be the coffee shop, it could be, yeah, the pet petrol station. Um, I use an app called um, Jesus at the Door. I don't know, have you heard about that? Um, it's very easy, I can show you. If I have time, if I have three minutes, um, I approach that people, people, and I take that app, and this is, they also have some cards. You can either use a simple um, card, so I don't know if you can see that. So this is a heart, and someone is knocking at the door. Someone is knocking at the door. Can I just, let's do some example. Maybe you are the guy, if I have three minutes, that's what I do. So I would approach you and I'd say, excuse me, have you seen this picture before and do you pray? Uh, no. So you haven't seen that picture before? And do you pray? Uh, yes. You pray, okay, like occasionally or when uh, yes. something happened? Yeah, or... usually when bad things happen. Okay. Yeah. So this picture symbolizes a heart, and here Jesus is standing at your heart store and knocking, and he wants to come in. I have a question. Imagine you're wearing a backpack with all your sins. Would it be heavy? Yes. Yes? So there could be some sins like lying or stealing, and the backpack would be heavy, right? And now imagine you owe the bank $10,000, and I would give you a check for $10,000. What would happen to your debt? I think you would, wouldn't have any debt, right? Because if you have 10,000 debt, I would give you a check for 10,000 to say you would not pay the bank back. I don't understand. You would go to the bank with me. So I would pay the bank back. Yeah. Oh, that's true. You have to pay the bank back, right? I heard fans. Oh my goodness. And that's exactly what Jesus did with our, with our sin. You know, we. We were engaged in sin and we were debtors. And Jesus died on the cross. Jesus came 2,000 years ago and he paid the price. And on the third day, he rose again from the grave. And I believe that Jesus is here, that the Holy Spirit is here. Can I pray for you that you are going to experience the power of the Holy Spirit? Is that okay? Yes. Uh, okay. And then I would place my hand on the shoulder, pray a very simple prayer like Jesus, touch him right now, reveal yourself. Holy Spirit, come. And then I would ask, did you feel something? Um, no, you, you know, but most of the people, they feel something. If you pray for them, they say, wow, you're the first person who ever prayed for me. I felt something cold or something they felt like, you know, hearts coming down. And then I will tell them, that's Jesus. Jesus touched your life. And then I would explain the gospel a little bit more. And then I would ask him, I believe Jesus is here, and he want, he's knocking at your heart's door right now. Would you let him in? Yes. Yes. And then I would pray again with him with the prayer of salvation. And that's very easy. You can do that in three to five minutes. Um, this is how I would do that. But normally if I have just one minute, um, I have to say, excuse me, I would like to tell you that Jesus loves you. And that he has a good plan for your life. Jesus died on the cross and you are very valuable in the eyes of God. Do you believe that? Yes. yes. And um, yeah, I would like to, is there anything I could pray for you? And they often say, oh, yes, please. I, when I came here to Houston, I came from Canada and had to um, check in my luggage. And I had to hand over my passport. And I asked the lady at the check-in counter, is there anything I could pray for? And uh, there was a long you know, lane behind me and said, yes, please, I had a rough year. A lot of things were happening in my life. And I asked her, could you please give me your hands? And she gave me her hands and I prayed in front of all the people. 
And she was so touched and she was so moved. And you just have to do it. It's very easy. Yeah. And we often have to learn how to overcome our fear. I mean, a lot of people are church members for five years, ten years. You know the gospel. But it's often the one thing, and it's overcoming your fear. Amen.